Hello everyone, this is Nevergoing77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Half-Life. So, last we left off, we did ourselves the last of the bits of surface action that we had over there. We're dealing the last of the military, as well as making our way over here to the entrance of the Lambda Complex. Because, yeah, we're here finally, yes. After all this time, we finally made it to the Lambda Labs, the, lab, the actual entrance to the Lambda Core Complex, as you see here. With this very nice elevator that takes us... Uh, downwards. So let's go ahead and take it down by activating this switch right here and make our way down now. Yes. As we'll uh, uh, go back down underground and into this facility, we'll finally be able to make our way down here through here and get to the bottom of things. Yes, both figuratively and literally. Because, yeah, going back under underground, baby. Yes, excellent. So let's see if we can pull out our pistol and see if there's any immediate threats here. And there is. Sure enough, there is. With all these head crabs now. So let's go ahead and take them out. But also, notice that there is a, yeah, an actual bull squid that's fighting off for them. Yes, yeah, so I will say, again, very interesting how some of these aliens are fighting each other. As well as you, let's take out you now. As well as a couple more of these head crabs. So I'm pretty sure I saw them coming in now. Yeah, these guys. It's pretty sure I saw the corner of my eye, so you guys still flailing around here for sure. Let's see if they got any more other supplies in here for us to take. Including some more ammos and other goodies. It's very cool. So let's just uh, loot all these crates. Let's see what uh, other stuff we can find here. It's, well, not much, but uh, anything down here? I doubt it. Yeah, no, nothing down here either. Oh, well, worth checking. So yeah, let's just make our way back up to these uh, up these ladders, up in this sort of catwalk area, as well as some more supplies here. Very good. And let's see, uh, hazardous materials handling bays. All right, sounds very cool, interesting. If I say so myself, and it's a bit of a shame that you can't break these metal crates here, but uh, oh well. It is what it is, I guess, but let's make our way down through this ladder area now. And, uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be some more of our slayed, or slain scientist brethren going about, for sure. Which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Let's see what we've got here in this area, but, oh, what was that? Oh, uh, I think that what I thought it was, and, uh, yeah, it's more ninjas. <laughs> Yeah, more ninjas to go about here. As I thought, I, 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 I thought I remembered that we weren't uh, quite done with the ninjas quite yet. Because, yeah, we've got to deal with the ninjas one last time. As they're all about here already doing a circle on me. Because, yeah, look at them all just uh, jumping around the place and, yeah, very, very much a threat for sure. So let's try and be a little more careful this time with these ninjas. I notice there's all these barrels going about here. We can try and see if we can use to our advantage because, yeah, the ninjas are back. <laughs> yeah, the ninjas are back. Yeah, you guys are back. And, yeah, yeah look how fast they are. They're just all over the place. Ah, keep going to blow you up those barrels. Yes. Just like that. Damn ninjas. Yeah, come here. Holy crap, look at them go. Look at them doing all their crazy flips and tricks and shit. Yeah, pretty crazy. Deal you know, with these damn ninjas. Oh, whoa, whoa, gah. Get you now. Ah, shotgun. Alright, hopefully that's you taken care of. I did see at least a couple more of you guys going about. Be sure to watch out. Yeah, watch out. Oh, God. Let's see if you make it here. Uh, very desperately evade these ninjas if we can. And, ah. Oh, Damn it! These damn ninjas! <laughs> Who is the ninjas? Alright, ninjas. Alright, come here. Oh, God. Gonna do all these flips. Yes, your crazy stunts aren't gonna save you forever. Yeah, yeah, look at them all going about here. Going about this place for sure. Yes, they can, they, they own the whole damn lot. Going about and <laughs> jumping around the place. Stunting on my ass. Yes. Not very good. And very, also taking very cheap pot shots on me from up there. Yeah, very hard to hit these ninjas. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, 
very hard. But we'll get it. Maybe we can try and use our nin sort of ninja-ish weapon, our crossbow here, if we can. Because, yeah, these damn ninjas. I know there's more you there. Ah, okay, we did get you, okay. Yes, okay, the crossbow does seem to be faring a lot better. And, uh, watch out, because another one around, deep around that corner. Ah, damn it. Alright, where's my shotgun? Quickly switch between these two. Alright, where'd you go? I thought, I thought I saw you run this way. No, around there. Alright. Alright, that's you dead. And there's two more up in the cat pond up there. Got all this very nice health kits here, for sure. As well as those grenade shells that we're gonna actually use right away. Yeah, right away. Blow both of you up, just like that. Or I think I got one of them, at least. But yeah, looks like we're not quite done here with the military here sending one last little ninja team with their very, very fancy flips and stuff that they're doing on me one last time. It's... Hopefully, I think that might be the last of them. If not, there should be just one more left. Yeah, one more. So yeah, I do notice they have the four grenades, just like the other dudes do, but I think that's the last of them, hopefully. Yes, yeah, so that's the last of them. Ugh, damn ninjas. Always a pain, but hopefully that will be the last of the ninjas for good. As that was their very last evil ditch effort to try to take our man Gordon Freeman out. Yes. Hopefully, no more ninjas. And yeah, it's uh, really been a pain in the ass for sure. But I uh, see if we can go in the facility for sure and not misclick because I am getting a little excited here because I did see a little bit of uh, these, yeah, the more health and HEV station going about. Which we'll very much need. So we'll go ahead and suck up all the energy out of you guys now and make our way back up that catwalk. I think I saw from that dark area there that was an elevator for us, which I'm pretty sure will take us to the area that we need to go to. Yes, this area. As, uh, yeah, yeah. Going through here now. This very nice slow elevator on our way down. So let's take the elevator yeah, as it takes its very sweet ass time and go about. Make sure we prepare all of our weapons in case there's to set up another trap for us. And uh, let's see here, uh, another trap, nope, just some barrels, as well as some more of these big blast doors. But, uh, whoa, whoa, damn, okay, yep, there, there was a trap for sure, another, eight more aliens, as well as more of you, so we'll try and blow you up just like that, with our nice machine gun, and yeah, just blow those up as well, get them out of the way, because yeah, more once here to go against. And just uh, take them out with my crossbow. And, uh, oh, looks like I'm out, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to go in with our bullets. And take out the last one here. And you can see with their nice little bulletproof pl armor plating that they got in there, deflecting half of my bullet shots, which is not very good. It's, it's making it difficult to take them out. So you do have to sort of shoot them in the middle of their body mass there with their, their exposed flesh to really do damage to them it seems. At least with the conventional bullet firing weapons that we got here. But yeah, definitely gotta watch out for them, especially how they're still teleporting in here. It's not very good, but let's go ahead and make our way up through this way now. And, uh, oh, hello. I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind and let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda Reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation lab. <laughs> But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Alright, oh, very cool and interesting, uh, it seems there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's got quite the task on our hands, and that's pretty much the objective for this chapter here. As uh, we gotta go in there, 
activate, reactivate that reactor, which is now shut down by putting in those cooling chambers. And uh, yeah, what better of a person to do it than Dr. Freeman here. So thank you so much for letting us in. We'll continue our way forward now. But yeah, damn, things are definitely gotten pretty hard now. Uh, already in the game, but now that we're nearing the end of the game, things are definitely going to even start getting even harder and even more difficult for sure. We're going to definitely be sure to see a, lot, see a lot less of these healing stations for us available, as well as less ammunition and more enemies and more bullshit for us to deal with, as well as more hazards and stuff for sure. So yeah, now that we're finally nearing the end and at the Lambda Labs, so we definitely have to watch out for that. So let's carefully make our way through now. I've noticed that we got two ways to go, the test firing chamber and the Lambda coolant system. All right, well, this uh, area looks more interesting, so let's go here first and see what we've got here. Whoa. Whoa. I built the glue on gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. Huh. All right, well, uh, this we seems to have ourselves a nice little room here with this nice scientist going about with the, this, I think we was talking about this weapon here, which is actually the final weapon of the game. Yes, we'll finally have, picking this up, we'll have all the weapons and have completed our arsenal. And uh, actually this guy going about his dialogue, I think he believes that he says he's the creator of this weapon where he actually built this thing. Now, this weapon here is called the Gluon Gun. It's a very cool, interesting sort of backpack, almost flamethrower-ish looking weapon by the looks of things, where instead of shooting a stream of fire, it shoots a stream of energy, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and, and equip it now. And, whoa, oh, damn, ugh. Yeah, this thing's heavy. Ugh, ugh. Holy crap, I can barely move with this thing on. Ah, uh, just kidding. I can move all sorts of directions. But yeah, here we have here we have it. The final weapon of the game, the Gluon Gun. Now, this weapon is pretty amazing. I mean, it is the final weapon, so it is the ultimate weapon after all. But uh, let's just guys uh, show you what it, uh, demonstrate what it does, because we have our nice little test firing areas to open up. And on our nice test subjects here to shoot them on. Let's go ahead and just uh, obliterate lift them like that. Now this thing, sort of like a flamethrower, it shoots a continuous beam of energy, which does tremendous damage. It disrupts an enemy's molecules and just completely eviscerates them, obliterates them, make nothing left. And uh, is pretty amazing. This weapon uh, does use the same depleted uranium-235 ammunition as the Tau cannon here, so keep that in mind, as it is also an energy weapon. But yeah, very powerful weapon for sure, as it is so powerful, I think this weapon is actually capable of taking out a Gargantua with enough a constant fire onto it. It should be able to take one out, but yeah, pretty cool weapon, as I think this weapon actually is also taken inspiration from the Proton Pack from the Ghostbuster series. Yeah, as it does look a lot similar to it, and how it is, its design is, for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, pretty much how they got the design of it. But, yeah, pretty cool weapon for sure. That's going to be sure to use a lot whenever we can. But, uh, like I said, it does use the same scarce ammunition as the Tau Cannon, so... We'll be sure to use the ammo for it while we can, but, uh... For now, we'll just try to use some of our other weapons going about here as we'll make our way down to the Lambda Coolant system now. So we'll take this elevator and make our way down, this very nice slow elevator, and see what we got. Yes, we should be on our way to these coolant systems, as I said already. But now that we got our final new gun here, nothing should stop us now. Yes. <laughs> Nothing will stand in our way, not even the strongest of aliens. So let's make our way down, as it looks like this elevator is broken, unfortunately, so it looks like we can't make our way up anymore, but uh, we seem to have ourselves our first victims of this new weapon already. Yes, you guys, yeah, this instantly obliterated him upon just clicking, essentially. Pretty amazing, but it looks like we got ourselves a another 
pool of some sort. Yeah, just another cool looking pool. I'm assuming it's for the part of the cooling system that they got going about here in this nice cool high-tech facility. And we'll take out more of these uh, Vortigons as well as one of you. Yes, one of you. Yes, there's not even one of you guys can stand a chance against this awesome weapon here, the Gluon Gun. As I think this weapon also does have another name, the Egon Gun. Which is also the name of one of the, uh, the cast members of the Gold Ghostbusters movie. So yeah, it also does further explain them and their inspiration that they took from the Ghostbusters films of this weapon's design. So, but unfortunately, we have just ran out of ammo for it. Yeah, just ran out of ammo for those weapons. Which is a little sad, I will say, but oh well, we're just going to have to switch out to our other weapons now. And uh, our good old bullet firing machine gun weapons. And he's killing you yeah, right now. And he's popping bullets in your ass. Just like that. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, let's make our way through as we quickly make our way and carefully make our way through these lambda labs. Because they are, as you hear there, or as you heard there, are getting destroyed and is crumbling in on itself. So let's hurry up and make our way through before the Lambda Labs. It's too late and these Lambda Labs get destroyed. But I see that we, I think we made our way to one of the generators here of the coolant system. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with this coolant pool of water. So let's go ahead and hit this switch. To should activate it now and get it up and running. So we hear the nice generator going on. So it's pump one activated. As you can see by the nice water level being raised up. I need more coolant as well as this being uh, flickered on with these these uh, lights. You can see pump one and tank one activated but still not tank one and pump two which should power up the core and the auxiliary tank which will make us get us to the next area that we need to go to essentially. So let's hurry up and make our way there now before the facility gets destroyed any further. Than it already is. Yeah, so let's make our carefully make our way down the ladder as we do now. Yep, just like that. And let's see. Uh, go down these hallways. And I think the pump two was over that way. Yes, but indicated by the nice yellowish, yeah, more yellow color here that we got going on, as opposed to the blue color of the. Pump one for our convenience, but oh, oh, this doesn't look very good. So, yeah, we gotta hurry up here before this uh, these uh, hallways do cave in on themselves as they are. And uh, watch out for more of you guys. Yes, more of you guys. See if we can use our crossbow to pick you off with this while we can, because I have noticed we are running out of ammo for our, a lot of our weapons here, including uh, having no ammo for our revolver. Notice we haven't had any, managed to find any ammo for it in, at all recently. It's a bit sad, I will say. But it looks like we're going to have to just rely on what we have currently on us right now. Yes. Let's make our way through and activate this second reactor. Or the second pump and coolant station generator, sorry. So that we can have the reactor activated. And, uh, oh, ow, ah, damn, These damn barnacles at it again, I see. Let's uh, make our way down and uh, pick up those med kits. And as you saw, that was uh, pretty funny how that worked. You saw that through. we uh, actually took fall damage, but since we picked up the med kits at the same time, we were good. That uh, was pretty funny, I will say, but yeah, pretty, uh, not, still not good because we still died. Still didn't quite make it through that. Oh well, so let's just prepare ourselves better by taking you out with our machine gun and then making our way back again. Because I was at least they didn't send us too far back. We have uh, the first pump station already activated. As you can see, the water level also raised in there. I don't think there's any any place we can go in here. No, yeah, no, it's just a pool. Just a nice little swimming pool of cooling water. Nothing too much to see here. So let's make our way back this way. Yes, this way. 
and into the pump station two. Yes, pump station two. And watch out, it's again more the hallway will cave in on itself, just crawling through here. And watch out, because they're gonna be ready to attack us. Once again, let's just pull out our crossbow. Pick you off. Did that get him? Yeah, I did. Alright, good. Now we deal with you. Yes, now we deal with you. That's enough out of you, sir. Speaking of which, that's enough of these barnacles. Let's take them out, because one of them did actually, as you saw, manage to, that one right there, managed to bite me, because he was so, <laughs> or, or we were already so far up in the catwalk that he pretty much was already able to attack us and didn't even need to slurp us up with this long little spaghetti string ton that he had there. Yeah, no, he was already biting away at us. So yeah, not very good. Literally eating our flesh away. Yeah, not a very good way to go out, I would say, but let's go and deal with you now and not fall like that. Come on now. God damn it. Ah, fucking hell. Alright, where's where's my crossbow? Where are you? You're behind behind the cover. Out, out, come on, kick him out. Kill him, kill him. Ah, fuck. Fucking hell. Alright, let's just make it through. Hopefully not die again. Jump over you. And hopefully they'll have some more health in here. Okay, I did notice that uh, they got some steam, but I think that, yeah, you can just get rid of that by turning the knob on there. Yes, how very nice it be. But I did notice there's definitely going to be some more aliens for us to take out as we make our way through this room here where the generator is to activate the second coolant. So let's do that now, but not before securing the area from you guys as well as these barnacles here. Yes, I saw one of you there, and one of you there. Yes. Trying to be very sneaky and hide in the darkness, but let's see what they got. Oh, okay, thank god. They got not health, but power armor, so I guess that will have to do. Let's go ahead and turn you on. Now that we have you on, and uh, yeah, that's all this flickered on, and all the power that we need to have access to the coal. Yes, access to the coal. It uh, doesn't look like we can go through these areas, so let's just make our way back now. Yes, and it uh, doesn't look like there's any more health for us, unfortunately. All right, just have to be very careful, man. It's very careful. Watch out for more of these aliens that are probably gonna teleport in on us. Yes, get the jump on us for sure. But uh, so far, so good. Just carefully make our way down here. Yeah, we couldn't, really couldn't afford to take that that derpy fall that we did that took away a lot of our health. That really was not good there. So we're really going to have to be careful from here on out. No. Yeah, watch out for you. Yeah, nice try. Nice try, I say. But let's see, where do we need to go to now exactly? One of these areas, I think. Auxiliary tank and the maintenance station. Yes, the maintenance station. I guess we'll go left first. And see what they got in here. Oh, more of you. Oh, no. Yeah, more of you. Ow. Ow. Ah. All right, where's my crossbow? I'm going to have to quickly take you out with this. Yes. That. Oh, we have, uh, no, no, uh... No uh, grenade shells at our disposal, unfortunately, so we just have to, gonna have to get in there with our shotgun. We're just going to have to. We're just going to have to ramp over. Oh, yeah, no, that didn't work. Oh, great. Okay, well, at least it didn't send us back too far. We have the second generator already activated. The water level is already going up. Let's just make our way back there. We're going to have to be a little bit smarter about it, or we can go the other way. Let's see if we can maybe go the other way first, see if we can find some more goodies. And then, we'll try again with that room there. Because, yeah, like I said, getting very difficult now. We're getting very tight for health, as you can see. <laughs> we can barely make our way through, and almost forgot about you again. Yeah, almost forgot about you, but we'll take you out now. As we're definitely going to need our two crossbow bolts for taking out those guys over there. We can see what they got over here for us first. Oh, yes. Uh, glad to see a nice friendly face here for once. But, uh, 
see if you guys got any other goodies here for me besides just bullets. So, uh, like, especially of the health kind. Yes. Alright, alright, I will do. But not before <laughs> very much taking the very much needed health as well as power armor here. Because I was looking very low. And yeah, wow. Wait, a sight for sore eyes, these these stations here, I will say. Especially how I very much need Oh I could have Oh I can I can still can, yeah, I can still order you to heal me even further. Alright, thank you. Yes, thank you. Alright, because every little bit helps. Thank you, sir. Let's make our way. And as you saw there, he uh, was being very clear with how loud he was. With all of our coolant stations activated, we can now make our way to the actual reactor. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that now, but which means going through here now and taking care of you guys. We'll go ahead and kill you. Not before saying hello to the business end of my shotgun. Yes, just like that. Now we got healed up very nicely as we did. We were able to afford taking all that damage. And we just keep spawning in these guys, man. Really don't know when to quit, do they? Damn. Well, hopefully they'll get the message sooner or later because they can't keep spawning in forever, right? Right? <laughs> can't keep teleporting in forever, but it looks like we found our way to go. Yes. The flow to the main reactor, maintenance access. Excellent. Let's make our way through there now. There's a very nice long underwater hallway to swim through. And into here. Wow. Whoa. All right. What do we have here? The coolant tank. This appears to be the coolant area. Yeah, the core. Yes, we made it. There's this big old machine here in the center of it all. Now I think we hit these switches, and it will, yeah, we'll bring the the coolant system on, but we'll also activate this core, which will get it operational, and also mean having to avoid quite a lot of hazards here. Yes, quite a lot, and you'll see in just a few seconds with all these bolts of electricity and stuff coming out. So I think we there's another, yeah, another thing. Activate here. We just got to keep on activating these switches. We'll bring this water up even more. Wait, no, that was back. God damn it. It's going down. No, don't drown, Gordon. No, don't drown because we need to get the. We need to be able to get up here and. Whoa, well, yeah, watch out for you. Get out, get out of the water. More of you guys in here. Yes, more of you guys. And uh, yeah, there we go. Avoid all these electrical arcs, arcs coming out of all these exposed wires and all this stuff. All sorts of crazy crap going on here. Oh god, so yeah, be sure to avoid for sure. I think these arcs will kill you instantly. So you really have to watch out here and be careful. Just sort of study the pattern that we got going on here. And yeah, a lot of electricity. A lot of it. Yeah, it's, it's so much that no man should be able to should have to walk through all this crap. It does get very hectic as we go up and higher, so let's just sort of see what they got. Okay, just, there's this couple of continue, continuous arcs going about here. One faster than the other. We'll go right, right as the finish. It's sort of like a clock almost, in a way. So we're gonna go right as soon as this fast one's done looping in here. Right now. Good, go, go, go. Oh god, go. Ugh. Alright, let's see what they got. Whoa, whoa, yep. Some more stuff up here for us to avoid. So let's just study the pattern here very quickly. Another arc, rotating arc for you to avoid there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. Hopefully we'll make it out through this alive. Because, yeah, I'm very sketchy now. Okay. Can't really predict to tell where these random bolts are coming out. Let's just go right after you. And, oh, yeah, no. Ow. Ah. Oh my god, okay, you know what, fuck. Just... I hate it when I fall like that, that's really dumb, it really is, so we'll just try this again. If the game's gonna be like that, me just falling at the end. Despite all my awesome maneuvers of avoiding all this arcs, electrical arcs of electricity, no, nope, I had to fucking fall at the end. Alright, no matter, fine. Just have to do this part again. Avoid these arcs. And should be good after this next fast one. Right there, yes. 
Alright, here we go. Alright, now these ones again. Just, uh, see, uh, you're so focused on trying to avoid these electrical arcs that you just, you, uh, you lose focus on, on trying not to fall as well. So let's just these ones again. We'll wait after the next, yeah, we'll do it one more time. And you should be good. And going now. Alright, careful not to fall this time. And jump through here, yes. Oh god, oh god, go through. Oh, so close. So close. Alright, alright. Third time charm. Third time charm. I love how I almost died instantly as I say that too. But we'll make it. We'll make it. Alright, alright. This. Alright, go now. Go now. Alright. And uh, carefully time the last arcs up here. Yes. Like the one more coming up there. And that last one is very strong. It's all there. Practically did kill me instantly, so we do have to watch out. And uh, wait for it to stop. Alright, go, go, go. Oh. Alright, we made it. Ah, thank god. And yeah, that's the Lambda Reactor Core Level D. Yeah, very sketchy, dangerous place to be at, for sure. Yes, but glad we made it out of that after only a few tries of dying. But let's just go in here, and this nice little supply cache, it looks like, Supply D301. As, uh, oh yes! All sorts of nice little goodies for us here, including... Some Magnum bullets for our revolver. Yes, yeah, so be sure to load that up for us. Load up all their ammunition, as well as more depleted uranium 235 ammo for our energy guns, and more crossbow bullets for our crossbow. But I think that's all the time we have for today, folks. So I think we're going to have to end it off here on this nice little sweet spot, or this nice supply cache. So let's go ahead and end it off, but not before saving our game now. Yes, saving our game. We're going to save it right here, Lambda Core, and save it up. So, yeah. All right, folks, so that's going to be about it for today. So, with that being said, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like the video as well as the other video that I upload on here, don't forget to drop a like, comment, or subscribe, as I upload videos almost every day. So, be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time. Forget to some more Let's Play Half Life. Yes, more of the Lambda Core chapter. Yes, very interesting for sure. So I'll be looking forward to doing that as well as be looking forward to seeing you guys there cheering me on. So with that being said, finally, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. As yet, this is Endeavor Going 77 signing off. And as always, take care everyone. Goodbye.